Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Brick Cave Bob vlog. I am Bob, and this is the Brick Cave. Thank you for joining me. If you are a multi-episode watcher, thank you for coming back. If you're a first-time watcher, well, hopefully I can get the chance to get you to be a multi-time watcher. But um, if you like what you see here, please don't hesitate to uh, push that subscribe button. We could use a lot of subscribers to the channel. Uh, and the channel has more than just me on it, although um, I do seem to generate a lot of content, but that's beside the point. That's a conversation for an entirely different thing. But um, this week, I do have a few things that I want to cover, and I'll start with a huge thank you. If I forgot to say anything on the last vlog, I just want to say thank you to everybody that came out for Tucson Festival of Books. It was, it really, it was a fantastic weekend. We met a lot of new readers. We met a lot of long-time readers. Um... It really was just an amazing weekend. So uh, I would like to encourage you, if you bought a book from us that weekend, and really if you bought a book from us anytime, um, let us know what you think. Shoot a shoot a message here on the vlog channel, uh, or better yet, go to brickcave.media and sign up to be a Red Dragon BC Book Club member because it's free and it gives you access to the Brick Cave forums and post in the forums. Um, that's just, let us know how we're doing, basically, is what that is. So, again, thank you to everybody that came out for Tucson. It was a fantastic weekend. I also want to throw out a, a congratulations to uh, one of our authors, Sharon Skinner. She, uh, this last weekend, was out at the Arizona Renaissance Festival both days, Saturday and Sunday. Had an amazing weekend. Uh, was joined on Saturday by longtime brick caver Jen LaBuzz. Um... And they just had a blast. Met a ton of new readers. A lot of new books found homes. It was just a great weekend for her. So congratulations to her for that. Uh, what else do I want to talk to you about? Oh, what's next? Hello. All right. So we have an event coming up with our sister organization, Anthology. Uh, Anthology.org. And that event is called the Mesa Book Crawl. And it's actually, it's, it's pretty fun. The idea is, is that there will be authors all through downtown Mesa in various stores and various places. And then readers will come to a spot and pick up what's called a passport. And the passport will guide them all over downtown to find the authors and then get stamps from the authors and the venues uh, for a chance to win prizes. So they'll fill their passports out, bring those passports back, turn them in, and then the anthology has a, a bunch of different prizes to give away that they will give away after the event has concluded. I believe the event is April 9th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, it's all over downtown. So if you go to anthology.org, you can get the details on that. So really, it's a lot of fun. I do know some Brick Cave authors that will be participating in that event, including, this is where I get to show you book covers, Bruce Davis. He'll be at the Mesa Book Crawl. Sharon Skinner. She'll be at the Mesa Book Crawl. Marcus Campbell. Wait, wait. Marcus Campbell. He'll be at the Mesa Book Crawl. Uh, and I believe, I'm 99% sure, Adam Marsh will be at the Mesa Book Crawl. So make sure that you make plans to be there. Again, that's April 9th. It's a Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's all over downtown Mesa. So um, I think the starting point is the 101 Gallery because it's located at 101 West Main Street. Yeah. And you can be a part of that and you can have a good time with that. Um, love to see some social media. Love to see you post pictures of yourself with uh, either the Brick Cave authors. Hello, tag, hashtag Brick Cave. Uh, and you can buy copies. I think all of them will have copies of their books. Well, I know the Brick Cave guys will because, well, we're going to give it to them, but I think all the others will have copies of their books as well. So there's like 20, I want to say 25 different authors that are participating in this event. It's a pretty cool event. Anyway, so that's what's going on there. Um, you know, the next thing I want to talk about is a very special anniversary. March 27th marks the 10 year anniversary for the healer's legacy so um and the reason that this matters is because this wasn't the very first book that brick cave published 
but it really has been the most successful book that Brick Cave has published over those 10 years. So um, I just want to draw attention to the fact that that book is celebrating its 10-year anniversary. Congratulations to Sharon Skinner. Um, it is by far the most popular book that Brick Cave has published, continues to be to this day, um, capturing new readers, building up a following. People have cosplayed from it. It's just been an amazing, amazing experience to be a part of that, and we appreciate the opportunity to have been the publisher for that book. So thank you to Sharon for that and congratulations to the healer's legacy on its first 10 year anniversary. I'll put a link in the comments for you to get more info on it. All right. Last up, our next event is the LA times festival of books that is happening. Oh gosh. I'm going to say April 23rd, but I'm not, I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly hundred percent on that. So April 23rd, 24th is Saturday, Sunday, whatever that Saturday, Sunday is. I don't even have my phone nearby for me to check, but whatever that Saturday, Sunday is, that's when LA Times Festival books is. We are super excited to come back for that event. Um, we are actually in the exact same spot that we've always been in, which is right across from the Mysterious Galaxy tent um, and kind of kind of close to the poetry tent. You can kind of hear the poetry if, if the poetry is still where it was. But um, looking forward to that. We're looking forward to get back in, in L.A. and join those readers. If you would like, you can go to brickcave.media. Um, we'll start updating the event for that here as soon as, well, tonight. There you go. Uh, I know that Sharon is going to be there. I know that Bruce is going to be there. And I know that Patrick Hare is going to be there. So Patrick Hare, whose book is not nearby for me to pick up and show you. Corporate Boilerplate Vinegar, representing our poetry authors there. Um it's really a great book really is a lot of fun so uh make plans to join us um i think we blew away the the attendees in tucson because we had so many new books for the attendees that had seen us there before and we're looking to do the same thing with our attendees in la um, to show them that we didn't stop through this whole experience we just kept putting out new books and they were fantastic so um that's it that's what I know for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Again, uh, I will kindly ask that you throw us a subscribe and um, keep that number going up. I think we've added a few this month so far. Thank you all. And uh, have a great rest of your week. And we will talk again next week. Bye.